What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we made it to Meteor Falls and had a run in with both Team Magma and Team Aqua. Found that the meteorite has been taken from Professor Cosmo and is up at Mount Chimney, where Team Magma are planning to do very nefarious things. In this episode, we're going to be heading to Mount Chimney, but first, along the way, I ran into this guy. You remember him? You're that person who not only helped me in Petable Woods, but also got my, my stolen package, and then even graciously delivered it to Slateport. Captain Stern informed us that the package arrived too. I thank you very, very much. Why, if I were a rain cloud, I would shower you with gratitude and hail you as a hero. For you, the most wonderful trainer, I bear good news. Recently, our company developed a new kind of Pokeball as a token of our appreciation. T this is our gift to our wonderful trainer, and we have obtained the Repeat Ball. Not only that... New Pokemon will be available at the Pokemon Martin Rustboro. Please do try it out. On top of repeat balls, which these are Pokeballs that have a much higher cat trait for Pokemon you've already caught, there's also now the new po uh, Pokeball Timer Balls. Timer Balls have a greater effectiveness the longer a battle goes on. I believe it's every five or ten turns or whatever, the cat trait on it increases. So those are especially helpful for very long-winded battles against, I don't know, let's say legendaries. So both of those are now available in the Pokemon Mart, should you want to go get them. I am now going to meet you guys over at Mount Chimney. And welcome one, welcome all, back to Route 112. Okay, so we're going to head right on up here, and as you can see, those Team Magma Grunts from before are no longer blocking the way. Let's head on in here, and for some reason, they were all able to break through and get by this lady, who saw nothing suspicious about the fact that there's a bunch of hooded thieves trying to... You know, trying to break into the cable car and get up to the uh, up to the top of the volcano, but whatever. Cable car is ready to go up. Would you like to be on it? Yes. Yeah, lady, just do your job. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she just doesn't get paid enough to care about that kind of stuff, which is fine. That's valid. But I'm I have to care about it, even though I don't get paid at all. Well, actually, that's not true. I get paid every time I beat someone in a in a battle. So, what am I even saying? And as you can see right now, Team Magma and Team Aqua are engaged engaged in vicious dogfighting battles, which is totally illegal, by the way. You're not supposed to do that. Don't freaking Michael Vick over here. Girl, Levi, I should have guessed you'd show up. See for yourself what the fanatics of Team Magma are up to. They're trying to inject the stolen meteorite's power into the volcano. Doing something like that will cause the volcano's eruption. Yeah, that would not be good. Now, if we head... If we can't actually battle any of these guys, but if we do head over here where they are isolated, we can battle these trainers right here. We have Team Magmar working hard for everyone's sake. Like, like if that thing's power made more uh, more land, we'd, there'd be more places to live. Everyone would be happy. If there were more land, I'd be able to get a big house of my own. I'm going to build it on a hardened lava. What? Okay, what the... Why would you want to build it on a hardened lava? That is not very good soil to build on. Just the saying, but okay. If you, if you wish. All right, so now we're going to battle these two. We got ourselves um, Zubat and Nummel, which should be, I mean, honestly, pretty darn easy to take care of. We're going to start with Headbutting Nummel and Shockwaving Zubat. And then we can hopefully take down these two very, very quickly. This is our first real, true, official run-in with one of the enemy teams in that we're not only going to be fighting Grunts, but we're actually going to be fighting something a little bit stronger than that this time around. So at least this Nummel managed to survive, and actually that is a really good move to be using on this duo. Oh my gosh. Hang in there, Raiju. Okay, that actually did nothing to you. Wow. Um, I guess we'll use Metal Claw and Strength, I suppose. I mean, it's that's going to kill a Nummel on its own easily. And there we go. Awesome. All right, good stuff. And so, Team Magma Grunts have been defeated, and now if we head up further... We'll have a run-in with... I believe, this, I believe this guy is an admin right here. So you've come all the way here, but you're too late. I've already delivered the meteorite from Meteor Falls to the boss. And Team Magma and Team Aqua both have multiple admins. And this first admin of Magmas that we're going to be running into is Tabitha. Tabitha's got four Pokemon, and while they're not really all that leveled up, it's still a lot more Pokemon than you're used to running into with a regular Grunt, which is why he's a bit more challenging. Let's do this thing. So this Nummel was actually able to tank my headbutt at level 18, unlike the one from the last episode. That was so embarrassing. And there we go. Okay, so that's done. We don't really actually have all that much to battle Team Magma with, which is kind of unfortunate. Vega did hit level 19. That's good. Let's... You know, I probably should teach Dig to Ghidorah after all, now that I think about it. Just because of dealing with fire types, because I don't really have anything else to deal with fire types at the moment. So we're going to use uh, Ghidorah entirely for this particular fight, but I'm not going to be using Ghidorah for the next fight much at all. Gosh dang it. That's an issue. Okay, well, Ghidorah, you might just be going down altogether in this fight, huh? 
Yep, indeed. Well, that's an issue. And I don't think I have any... I might have a revive on hand. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I, I might. We'll see. Okay, let's use... Let's use Strength on you. And hopefully you don't have any more Ground-type Pokemon. I can start using my Spark attack. Let's see. Poochiana. Okay, perfect. So, unfortunately... Well, actually, does Poochiana have in Intimidate? No, Poochiana does not have Intimidate. Only Mightyena does. So, that's not an issue at all. No, yeah, Poochiana has Run Away, I believe. That's a, I think that's its ability. Um, and then Zubat. Okay, that's not going to be a problem at all. And Tabitha, you really are a pushover for what is supposed to be essentially second in command, or at least tied for second in command. Get out of here. And that is it for that fight. I'm going to check and see if I've got any revives on hand. I don't think I do. Because I think I already used one a while back. Not to mention, you can't really get them all that much anymore. Let's see. So we got... Oh, we, I do have, I have two revives. Wow. Okay. Good surprise. Good surprise indeed. All right. Let's use... Let's see. I'm going to use a Soda Pop on Ghidorah. There we go. And then I am also... No, I'm not going to back out of my bag. We're going to actually use that TM. So I have not used um, Iron Defense like at all because on Ghidorah it's kind of... It's kind of almost pointless. It's kind of redundant considering Ghidorah's defense is already so good. So I'm just going to get rid of that move. And we're going to, yeah, we're going to give Ghidorah a dig, which should hopefully make him a lot more strong against fire types. There we go. All right, so let's head on up here and talk to the leader. The power contained in this meteorite. By amplifying its power with this machine, Mount Chimney's volcanic activity will instantly intensify. Its energy will grow deep inside the crater and... <laughs> Hmm, who are you? I'd heard Archie be moaning a child who's been meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. It must be you he met. Huh, so you're thinking of interfering with us, Team Magma? Now you listen. Long ago, living things used the land to live and grow. That is why the land is all important. It is the cradle of all. That is why Team Magma is dedicated to the expansion of the land mass. It is for further advancement of humankind and Pokemon. And for that, we need the power of what sleeps within the mountain. Oh, there is no need for you to learn that much. I just fiddle and monologued, and I apologize for that. But no matter, I'll teach you the consequences of meddling in our grand design. And so, we begin our first battle against none other than Maxi, the leader of Team Magma. And he's going to start right off the bat with a Mighty Anna that actually has Intimidate on it, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. So considering that's his first Pokemon, I actually am going to switch over to Raiju right off of the bat. <laughs> He is going to have a much better time dealing with his Mighty Enna than Ghidorah is. Oh no, Sand Attack. Whatever will I do, Shockwave? Gosh, no. Please, stop. So Mighty Enna is still pretty strong, though. It is still a fully evolved Pokemon. <laughs> well, I guess that's what I get for singing its praises. Holy cow, that thing got absolutely annihilated. Well then, if he's just got a Zubat next, I guess I'll keep Raiju out. That was pathetic. Like, that was genuinely pathetic. <laughs> Holy cow, I was not expecting a crit to do that much. Raiju is awesome, by the way. Just want to mention that. And so there goes Zubat. Now, his last Pokemon is definitely not a pushover. This one is Camerupt, which I have gone over how good Camerupt is before. Well, or at least how above average Camerupt is. So let's take this thing on, and we're going to try to use Dig. Now, my only problem is if that Camerupt does use, I think, Earthquake at all. Yeah, see, I'm worried about... I don't know if Magnitude works while Pokemon are underground, but I know Earthquake does. We will see. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, that's an issue. That is definitely an issue. Okay, so... I'll use Toothless for this because he can do normal type effectiveness. Plus, I don't think this camera has any super strong fire moves just yet. It might just have, like, Ember. So, I'm not all that concerned. Let's see. Oh, okay, we could just use Focus Energy. That's fine. Uh... Let's use Leaf Blade again. Get rid of this camel. Come on now. Yes, perfect. Ooh, we got a crit out of it too. I'll take it. And down goes Camera Up. Good experience. 468. Vega got a bunch too. And we have defeated Magma Leader Maxi. What? I, Maxi, was caught off guard? Um, yeah, incredibly so. But enough. I will back off this time. But don't think that this is the last you've seen of Team Magma. <laughs> Even without the meteorite, if we obtain the orb. And they're gone. Levi, thank you. With your help, we thwarted Team Magma's destructive plan. But you, whose side are you on? Ah, it doesn't matter. We will remain vigilant and keep up our pursuit of Team Magma. Levi, we shall meet again! And off he goes. 
All right, bye. Now make sure that before you go any further, you do want to remove the meteorite here. This is gonna be coming in handy much later. We wanna actually return this to Professor Cosmo. So we will be heading back to Fall Arbor in due time. But for now, we're gonna actually head southward because from here up at Mount Chimney, we can actually access a new town. We just need to start making our words downwards. Before we do that, let's talk to this lady. Lava cookies are Mount Chimney's local specialty. Try one, it's just $200. Lava cookies are essentially full heels, and they are a lot cheaper than full heels. Now, much like soda pops down at the at the seahorse house, you can only buy one of these at a time, unfortunately, which takes a while. But they are very much worth how much they cost. Their value is extremely good. So I'm going to be grabbing a few of these before we go any further. And this is pretty much just going to exclusively be used for, like, poison and burn and paralysis here, from here on out. So... I think that's enough lava cookies, and now we can start heading southward on to the next route, where there is one new obtainable Pokemon on this route, which is none other than Spinda. We talked about Spinda in the last episode, or I briefly mentioned it because we encountered one, but Spinda is a psychic type that eventually evolves into Grumpig. It is capable of learning some decent moves as well as some interesting utility moves, and it's got incredibly well-rounded stats. It's not the most hard-hitting Pokemon in the world, but it's also not like a pushover either. It's got decent defenses, decent attack, okay speed i mean it's just kind of a jack of all trades as far as psychic types go which is actually incredibly rare as far as psychic types goes because most psychic types are very specific on one thing very they're either very dedicated to being either defensive in the special um or offensive in the special they're not really anything in between so actually if you want a good jack of all trades psychic type this is probably the pokemon to get and you can find it in the grass on this route amongst the soot and whatnot so yeah that is really all there is to that, and I believe that is the only Pokemon that can be found on this route. I could be wrong about that, but while I'm fighting this Pokemon, I'm going to actually quickly check on that, just to make sure. I don't want to actually be wrong. But there we go. Vega route level 20. That is awesome. All right, so player defeated Hiker Eric, and now we can keep heading south. And yes, I am correct. That is the only new Pokemon. You can also catch Neville and Machop here. Now, you see these little rocks here. If you have an acro bike, you can make your way up these. But otherwise, this is a completely downward spiral um, through the Jagged Pass. Okay, we're actually getting close to a Pokemon Center, so I'm not going to worry about healing all that much. Let's talk to this guy. Wow, what are you doing here? What am I doing in a place like this? What business is it of yours? Now, this is actually incredibly, an incredibly important fight because... This guy is actually in a location that we're going to want to remember for much later. So keep note of the fact that there is just a seemingly random Team Magma Grunt in this area. Okay? Keep note of it for much, much later. But for now, we're just going to wail on this guy. And kill his Poochiena as well as his Numble, I suppose. I am going to actually... Well, no, we'll just keep on. We'll just keep on Raiju, I guess. Go. Alright, let's use Strength. Raiju's really close to level 28. Oh, I'll take another crit. Why not? He's been getting a lot of those lately. I'm not going to complain. I'm just saying it's it's happening and it's kind of cool. Should have ducked into our hideout right away. Hello? Okay, okay, I admit it. You're strong. Don't worry about me. Go wherever you want. No, I am going to worry about you. Later, like I said. But I am going to worry about you. Okay. Let's take on this trainer next, and then we're going to take on those two down there, and I think call this episode quits immediately after the fact, which is going to kind of leave things on a cliffhanger, considering we won't have yet made it to the town, but we'll be very, very close. All right, let's start by using Spark on you. I know it's not going to be very effective, but still. There we go. I wanted that paralysis, and we got poison. Okay, that's great, which is fine. I, I can use a lava cookie for that. So, in fact, I'll probably switch to Toothless immediately after I take down the Shroomish. Let's use Strength now that we're not worried about a Dex Spore. There we go. Okay. So, quickly switching over to Toothless. And I think we can probably get a Fury Cutter going here. Well, mm, yeah, no, I think we can. Let's give it a shot. I think she's going to have all Grass types anyway. Alright, so... Even though Poison is not very effective, uh, or not affected all that much uh, by bug, thus negating its effectiveness. Let's just keep getting the Fury Cutter going. Hopefully we can bypass Paralysis for at least one more turn. Come on, please, please. No! Ugh. Gosh dang it. I'm getting so... I, I just... Ugh, I hate dealing with Grass-types, man. I really hate it. Okay, let's use... 
Let's just use secret power. No! Come on, Toothless. Let's attack, please. And for some reason, Oddish is just going to keep using Sweet Scent over and over as if my evasiveness needs to go any lower than zero anyway. I do believe that secret power also flinches. I could be mistaken on that, but I believe it does. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe the one I was thinking of earlier, the Needle Arm secret power, is like a few episodes back. Maybe that one is actually, uh, that actually causes like paralysis or poison or something like that. I can't remember now that I think about it. Because the secret power based on Rock Slide would cause flinch, because Rock Slide causes flinch. So it makes sense. Okay, 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 we get it, we get it. Just let me hit you. Thank you. Get out of here, Swablu. All right. There is that. I think I got some more experience. Beat Picnicker Diana, who I do believe is going to add us to the Pokenav. Yes, indeed. Which, this is not a very convenient area to get back to, so rebattling her is going to be kind of a hassle, honestly. All right, so let me get my items. Let's start. I have some Paralysis Heals. So let's use one of those on Raiju. Or, sorry, Toothless, excuse me. And then we'll use the, the, ugh, the Lava Cookie on Raiju. Actually, I could use this energy. No, that's 50 HP. Never mind. I thought that was a full heal one. Um, the only problem with powders and herbs is that Pokemon's happiness value goes down with them, but it is good at least to get that out of the way. Um, we'll get more into herbs and powders a little bit later. No, I think we're good for now. I don't think we need to do any more healing. Okay. Let's fi Gosh dang it. Now I can't get that item. Ugh, I wish I had noticed that before I jumped down. Oh well, we'll have to get that another time. It's not like I can get back up there, but oh well. So maybe you shouldn't be flying down this hill on a mock bike, dude. That would be an intelligent thing to do, honestly. Or to, I guess, to, it would be intelligent to not do that. Alright, Raiju, Toothless, let's do this thing. So let's start with... Let's start with Spark on Magnemite and Secret Power on you. Which that might have made it a not, not physical attack, which is pretty good. There we go. Hey, that's good damage. I'll take that. Heck yeah, and the paralysis. Why not? Okay, Shroomish, please don't paralyze anybody. Just don't. Just just don't. Whatever you're going to do, don't do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for using Mega Drain. Thank you. Of all the moves you could have picked, that was honestly the most favorable. And I appreciate it. All right, same as before. Well, actually, let's use Shockwave this time. And then we'll use Secret Power again. And that should be it for this fight. Awesome. And Raiju got to level 28, which is also awesome. And Toothless got some experience. Vega got some experience. And now Magnemite is going down. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I hope you all enjoyed it very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one.